All right, I'm going to go over the next two problems right now. All right, so uh, as shown, we start with this height h, right? And so what's the final velocity? The final speed of this mass when it reaches the other side of the hill. All right. Uh, so this is a fairly straightforward application of energy conservation, right? So if you remember, energy conservation only depends on the position and the state of an object, right? So the a statement of energy conservation says that the energy at the beginning, energy over here, and the energy over here are the same, All right? So let's look at the energy over here, All right? So let's define h to be zero to be like this, zero, All right? So let's look at the energy at the beginning, All right? So energy at the, let's say energy, initial energy is equal to kinetic energy, which is one over two, um, V naught squared, plus the potential energy, which is zero, right? And now let's look at the final energy, right? EF, right? And this is equal to one over two, um, V squared plus zero. All right, so conservation of energy says that because there are no non-conservative forces in play, right, energy is conserved. So the initial energy, EI, equals the final energy, EF. So then we get one over two mv naught squared equals one over two F squared and V naught V naught equals V. Oh, this is V naught, V naught. Yeah, V equals V naught. All right, so the initial, the final speed is going to be the same as the initial speed because of conservation of energy. All right, so, all right, we look at the next problem. The next problem, we have a similar situation, right? A mass M starts at the side of the hill height h naught, and this slides to the bottom, right? If there's no friction anywhere. What's the largest height that the mass can attain on the other side, right? So the largest height that the mass can attain on the other side is going to be such that v is equal to zero, right? When it reaches its maximum height, because it's going to stop moving and it's going to start turning around, right? So now let's look at energy conservation. Initially, we have e i equals well, 1 over 2 mv squared, but that's 0. The velocity is 0, right? Plus mg h naught, right? Where h naught is the height, the initial height. We define this h equals 0. And then we look at the final state. The final state, we have velocity equals 0 once again. Velocity equals 0 once again. So ef equals 0 plus mg big H. Then we set these things equal, E, I, E, F. Then we get that H equals H naught, right? And that's what we, and that's our statement of energy conservation. 